Hello everyone, let's look at the steps to download the Windows 11 version 25H2 ISO file, which you can use to perform a clean installation or an in-place upgrade. Since version 25H2 is still on the early stages, Microsoft currently is not offering an official download, but we can use the UUP dump script to create a custom ISO file of any preview of Windows 11 that Microsoft made available through any of the Windows Insider program channels. Okay, to start, open the web browser and then go to this website. Then we know that at this time, version 25H2 is only available on the dev channel. So just click on the channel and then click on the latest inserted preview build available on that channel. Now, if you have an Intel or AMD system, you're going to have to choose the latest preview for the x64 architecture. Now, if you have an ARM based device, you need to select the ARM64 option. So at the time of this recording, the latest preview for version 25H2 is a 26200.5670. However, at the time that you're watching this video, the build might be different. However, you have to make sure to download the latest available for the 26200 branch. Now select the installation language and click next. Then select the editions of Windows 11 that you want to include on the ISO file. Usually you want to use Home and Pro and then click next. On this page, make sure that the download option is selected and also the include updates option is checked. Then just download the package. and open the location where you save the files. Then select the file and click the extract all button and extract the files. Now, before proceeding, here's a tip. Just go up one level and then we're going to rename this folder, the one where you extracted all the files and choose the rename option. And let's just call this 25H2. This will make sure that the folder doesn't have any spaces or anything that will interfere with the script. And then we need to right click on this CMD script and select the run as administrator option. In here, click on more info and then click the run anyway option. Now we want to run this once, so just type R and press enter. Now what's going to happen is that the script is going to download all the required files to install the latest preview of Windows 11 version 25 h2 from the microsoft servers and it's going to create a custom iso file and that custom file will be available on this folder now how long this process is going to take well that's going to depend on your internet connection and everything that the script has to do to create that iso file however it could take anything between 15 to 25 minutes and even a little bit longer so be patient now while the script is downloading the files what we can do is to open another tab and try to download the Rufus tool, which is the tool that we're going to use to create a bootable media. So just download the latest version available, and then we need to connect a USB flash drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage and make sure that nothing important is on that drive because everything will be deleted. Just double click the file to launch the tool and I already have a USB drive connected to the computer. Now, when the script finishes processing all the files, you just need to press zero and then press enter to exit the terminal. So to speed up the process of this tutorial a little bit, I already downloaded an ISO file for the same build. So I'm just going to click select. You can see right here that I have the folder with extracted files and I downloaded the latest preview build for Windows 11 version 25 H2. So I just need to select it and click on open. And the only thing you have to do, and this is optional, just change the label of the USB drive to Windows 11 25 H2 and click on a start. And finally, just clear all the options if you are planning to install Windows 11 on a computer that meets the minimal requirements. Now, if you have unsupported hardware, you can check the this option and that will bypass the requirements. And then just click the OK button to create the bootable USB media for Windows 11 version 25 H2.
And that's it. Now we can close the Rufus tool. And now you have created a USB bootable media with a preview of Windows 11 version 25 H2. Now let me know in the comments if you're going to be testing version 25 H2 on a virtual machine or a spare computer. Like the video, share it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.